Now, your Storm Tracker team forecast with Chief Meteorologist Sam Parrish. Well, we've had another warm day across the Capital Region with lots of sunshine, a little bit of cloudiness mixed in there as well. You can see that on our SkyCam network. You can see the flags flying there with some south winds and those cumulus clouds. 83 degrees right now at the airport, south wind at 16, gusting at times over 20 earlier today, 64 on the dew point. So as a result, it feels just a tad warmer at 84, pressure at 29.98 inches of mercury. Let's take a look at the radar. Really, there's not a whole lot going on in the immediate area. There are some Virgo or some showers trying to develop up near Nac Natchitoches and Alexandria, extending up towards Monroe. Bigger storms up in southern Arkansas right now around Little Rock. We do have some pollen in the air, that's for sure. 8.4 tomorrow, 9.8 on Thursday, and then 8.9 on Friday. Of course, all of that has been oak, hickory, and grass pollens this week. Looking at the satellite and radar, you can see that batch of thunderstorms in southern Arkansas right now. That's all part of a dry line system with some energy that's causing a lot of severe weather for the upper Midwest. Several tornadoes in Iowa this afternoon, but most of that severe weather is going to stay to the north, leaving us on the high and dry side. A little bit wider view shows that storm system will start to make its way towards the east, and then another one will take its place as we go into Thursday. But notice all of the energy is basically staying to the north of us. It's being very difficult. It's being held up by high pressure, and it's going to try to get a little bit closer to us as we go towards the weekend and that's when the rain chances start to increase just a little bit. In fact, looking ahead, you can see that as we go into Saturday, it's a stationary front up to the north, but then on Sunday, a bigger low pressure center develops in Texas and that will make its way towards us and that's when we will finally start to see the rain chances dramatically increase. Tonight though, no rain, just lots of clouds, southeast winds, temperatures in the 70s by 9 o'clock and then by morning, We'll see lows generally in the upper 60s to lower 70s, just like we had this morning with the more of an easterly wind on the wind component. Then on Wednesday afternoon, south winds returning, maybe an isolated shower or two. Not a big deal at this point with temperatures in the low to mid 80s, around 85 here in Baton Rouge once again. Then as we head into Thursday, notice the showers start to increase just a little bit, but they'll still be very isolated with highs in the up or lows, I should say, in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Then Thursday afternoon, we're going to be looking at temperatures once again in the mid 80s around here, maybe a little bit cooler up to the north where a better chance of showers and storms will be on Thursday. If you're heading to the Blues Festival this weekend, Saturday looks like it's going to be pretty good with a high of 83 degrees with a 20% chance of some scattered to isolated showers. Really shouldn't be a big impact on the event. And over the next seven days, it looks like the nice weather is going to continue for a while. And then, like I said, on Sunday, that's when I think the best chance of showers and storms is going to be with a high of only 70. And then it kind of turns nice early part of next week.